This Blackout Fighting Championship matchup was brought to you by Clinch Custom Mouth Guards. Check them out online at getclinched.com. I am here with BFC promoter Travis Quarter, man. What do you think about the crowd tonight? Man, this is energetic as hell. I've never seen a crowd like this at any show, any show. Me neither, man. We had to turn people away. It really sucks we had to turn people away, but hey, it's gr it's great. You know, it's great that we have this atmosphere, all these people that it's sold out, that Kansas City supports Blackout Fighting Championships. You know, we decided when we were coming to Kansas City that we were going to come here and make a statement, and I think we did that. You know, I think this is the, the, the first Kansas City show to ever sell completely out, um, and this is not a small venue. You know, this holds 1,300 people. We probably got 1,400 people here with staff and everything. This is a huge event for us. Yeah, we got UFC fighters in the building, World Series of Fighting lightweight champion Justin Gaethje, James Krause, Jason High, I mean, L.C. Davis, who won last night, still here supporting his guys. Yeah, man, I mean, Kansas City's where it's at. I mean, this is the mecca of the Midwest, you know. I, I believe that, and I believe we're here to stay. Travis is going to be sitting next to me tonight. We'll be uh, we'll be talking to him a little bit more. Seth Golay, man, really appreciate this guy. Stepped up on four days' notice to fight Kevin Volkamp. Uh, he just fought uh, a few weeks back at Cage of Honor. Got a big win there. I believe he is the light heavyweight champion, but hey, this fight's at 225. He decided he'd step up. He didn't have to cut any weight. I mean, this is going to be a great fight with yep. two muscular, straight up muscle bound dudes. Yep, much respect to him. I mean, when he steps in the cage, you guys are going to see how big this guy is. Yep, there it is. And in the opposite corner, here comes Kevin Wolfgang. All right. Coming out to Leonard Skinner. Awesome memorial back piece that he has there on his back. World War II vets. Really appreciate that. Here we go. Kevin Volkamp, man. This guy's had the worst luck with opponents. He, uh, you know, every time he gets an opponent, they end up dropping out a few days before the fight. We always have to find a last minute replacement for this guy. It really, you know, it really sucks how it goes down sometimes for guys like that. But hey, you know, he's willing to fight anyone. Yeah, he fought on national TV against Brandon Huckabee on God's Guns and automobiles yep. for us. And uh, I think he got robbed on that decision. I thought he won against Brandon Huckabee. And, I, and Travis Quarter definitely thought he won. You guys should have seen Travis Quarter's face after that fight. He's, <laughs> I mean, just his face was just like, oh, man, come on. <laughs> These guys are so big, man, yeah. so big. Yes, they are. This may be where we see KO. Seth, man, this guy has been he's you know, on me. I want that I want that BFC 205 belt. I want that two BFC 205 belt. Yeah, here we go. It's Let's gonna see be, if he can prove himself be, here. Yeah, yep. It's going to be his first fight in BFC. Who holds that 205 belt, by the way? Uh, you know what? Actually, it's open right it now. Yes, I believe Colton Allen held it, but since I've been with BFC, I have not seen anyone fight yep. for the 205 belt yet. Uh, I'd like to see a little Grand Prix or a tournament. Yeah, that would be that would be phenomenal. Exactly, and I think we're, we're going to do that with the 125 when we come back here in uh, May, I believe, May okay. 24th. Outstanding, and on the same night, James Krause fights. So we, you know, we might have a big show here and maybe have a viewing party after. That would be outstanding. Something like that. We're yeah. gonna see support. That way, we can support the Midwest. Exactly. Fighters. I love it. I love it. 
his teammates fighting here, and he'll be fighting somewhere else. I'm not sure where that fight's at. But, uh, yeah, man, he has a tough, tough fight. He's fighting Jamie Varner. Oh, yeah. Good fight. All right, these guys are big, tattooed up mongrels, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't blink here, guys. No, definitely don't blink. I know they're bigger, but they look very athletic. I think this is going to be a very fast-paced fight. I'm I think excited. Ke Kevin, he's down low. I think he's going to come in, and I think he's going to go for a takedown. I, I don't think they want to stand up. Yeah. I mean, with the guys this big, you get clipped one time. Yeah, it's, it's over. Either it's, one, yeah, you know? It's over. Tough fight for both these guys. I don't think they have a. Kevin is one of those guys, man, that really, really promotes himself well. Yes. You know, he has a big crowd here tonight. A big lot of following. support. Look at these guys stare off. Wow. Oh, man, they are ready to get it. I'm excited about this fight. One of the underrated fights of the night that, you know, is overlooked due to exactly. the main card. But this, this is something that's going to be great, even amateur. Exactly. Well, here we go. All Let's right. see who's the aggressor here. Yep, don't blink. No, Seth, he's a very aggressive fighter. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, straight for a takedown. Nice. Takedown. Double leg. Still working. Oh, on. wow. Picking him up. Big slam. Wow. Inside control now. One thing I, I see here is Seth needs to breathe. Yes. I think he's holding his breath. Nice cross face. Digging down. Mm-hmm. Oh, might be looking for a Kimura here. Kevin just holding on to him, too. I wouldn't really go for submission and side control like that. Kevin uh, looks very composed on the bottom. Yes, he does. I mean, if you very look calm. at him, he's just calm. I think he's just thinking. He's a jiu-jitsu fighter. You know, exactly. you know how we are. We, we plan, we think, we set stuff up. So he could be baiting him with the arm for a sweep or something. You never know. Seth needs a strike, though. You, yeah, you can't just it's take someone make down that and take stay down. on top. Exactly. You, you gotta, have to you stay strike. active. Improve Go. position constantly. Exactly. Go for submissions. He's not going to get that key lock if that's what he's going for. He's behind the head and he's on the other side. Kevin's doing very good off his back. He is. He's not really trying to get his guard back, though. Like, I figured he probably would, and he's turning he might his give back. up his back here. He yeah. doesn't need to give up his back. That's no. one thing he does not need to do here. Yeah, and, and he did. It. He turned. He just gave up his back. Big punch is coming down here. Oh, 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 he's oh. Out. he is out. He is out. He is out. Wow. wow. It looks like it looks like Seth Galea might have got the clinch custom mouth guard knockout of the night. You know wow. What, wow, I'm impressed. And Seth, he's taking a knee. Great sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship, yes. Not going around celebrating. He's kind of just waiting to make sure the other guy's okay. You know, it didn't even look like he was getting that hard hit, that no, hard. No, I, I don't think. I think it was that bouncing off the mat is what does it, man. I think so, too. Wow. You know, we need instant replay. We do. We truly do for this sport. Yes, wow. in the cage. Those were not even big things. I, I, I didn't have a lot of power. He must have bricks. Kelly's West must have a, a Kansas Bruce City Lee tradition since 1947. I love it, man. I love how Seth Galay, he's taking a knee. He's relaxing, you know. Composed himself. Exactly. Not going around not, celebrating He's not the celebrating cage, nothing. Yes. crazy, which exactly. is a lot of respect for guys like that, you know. You'll see that out of, out of the guys, you know. I mean, all of these fighters respect each other. They yeah. care. He's going over there. Going over there, dude. Exactly. Great sportsmanship tonight. Very impressed with that. 
are good on you, people. That's right. Clap it up for Kevin. There you go. Much respect, man. Much respect. Yes. Ooh. He's setting up now. Yeah, Seth is a big, big dude. Yeah, man. yeah. Still, still taking the knee, man, you know? Yeah, I think he's going to wait for Kevin to get up, you know? Very That's respectful. Exactly. That's one thing I can't stand, man, is people that don't set up late kicks with punches in the cage. It's one of my pet peeves and guys that another dude's out cold or knocked out and they're jumping on the cage to celebrate. You know, take a knee, have some respect. Exactly. That's, that's the way I look at it. This Blackout Fighting Championship replay was brought to you by ACSLive.TV, the domain that brings the pain. silence in the building right now yeah taking a little bit longer to get up but nothing wrong with that i think i think he i think he would get up at the docks you know they, they try to keep him safe keep yes. him down until they're ready which is good which is exactly good, you know? man tough fight for kevin man you know he does have the worst luck with opponents you know yeah but, I mean, he's tough. I mean, like you said, he didn't even blink when you guys gave him the opponent. He said, okay, let's do it. Yes. So, he, good for him. He's exactly. tough. Kevin's up. He's on his feet. He's sitting back down on the stool. Good for him. Exactly. Kevin's fine. He's fine. Wow. Seth said he wants to go after that 205 belt, and he's definitely, I think he just, you he's know, definitely on his point. way. Yes. yes. Maybe one more contingency fight, and uh, he'll get that opportunity. Let's see, you know. Let's see if we can get this tournament going. Yeah, I'd I love mean, it. that'd be phenomenal. I yeah, would you love know, it. we've been approved to do one-night tournaments. We did one uh, oh, January in St. Joe, a lightweight tournament, and Mike Breeden came yep. out on top, man. Mike Breeden, man, yes. Great striker, very, very really skilled. good striker, very good striker. Actually, and won all his fights by submission. Really? Yes. That's unusual. I would not have seen that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we working at least, or is it? Okay, great. It's, it's enough. Yeah. It's one of those things that the other system wouldn't have had. Yeah. And he's able to come to the middle for the... Uh, he's still a little wobbly. Still wobbly. Still wobbly. Great job by Seth, man. Yep. Wow. Once again, great sportsmanship between the two fighters. Great sportsmanship. Knockout on the ground. Too. Yeah. Wow. You don't see that often, but we these don't. guys are big, you know? Maybe, maybe we'll see uh, Joseph Wooder. Yeah. Versus Seth Golden. I see. I, I'm matchmaking in my head yeah, right like, now. I like it. I like where you're going, man. I like where you're going. I always do it too. I'm always thinking of the next matchup. What we're gonna, you know, what we're gonna bring to the table next. It's well, one you're thing, have you know, to put a great card together for the second time. This Blackout Fighting Championship matchup was brought to you by Kenny Thomas, Olathe Toyota, and Scion. Check them out online at olathetoyota.com.